Hello, my name is Michael Clark. I'm a townie, I guess. I'm, I'm born and raised here, Keene, New Hampshire. I'm 27 years old, so this, this hasn't been too long of a uh, period for the, the, the change around here. I, I remember people just being able to walk to the store, open container, as long as it was in the neighborhood. You know, they, they could go to the store with their last beer, taking their sip, throwing it in the trash when they get to the store and go in and grab another six pack and be like, hey, thanks a lot, you know, and then crack one, walk back down the road, you know, and just go back to the bonfire or the barbecue or the, the, the events, the social events in the neighborhoods. Uh, it's, it's a lot different than it used to be. Uh, I remember a lot of, uh, a lot of more, you know, neighbor, neighborly behavior back when I was a kid. Like, I remember feeling a lot more comfortable around everyone. Nowadays, it's kind of, people are skittish don't want to be too loud, they don't want to be too active, they don't want to be noticed because the, the cops are really taking the fun out of being alive, really, around these areas. Even just going to the bar, you, you want to leave your car at home so you don't drive drunk. And uh, you'll be walking home from the bar and they'll harass you for public intoxication. And it's like, well, you know, I didn't drive, you know, I'm trying to avoid driving drunk, but I can't even walk home drunk. That doesn't make any sense, you know, to me. I mean, like, you're trying to do a good deed by not driving, which they encourage. But still, they harass you for public intoxication. I don't, I don't understand it. Just an average person being responsible. I mean, yeah, you're intoxicated, but does that, does that mean you're looking for trouble? You're, try, you're trying to find your way home to go to bed. You know, that's what you're trying to do. But no, you're going to get a ticket, <laughs> you know. Yeah, before and after my impression, like, uh, well, my impression being a townie, I got the first impression like most people did around here. Like, I thought it was negative. I thought it was just like, okay, I'm going to go do something illegal to get arrested just to, just to show my point that I don't think it's, it should be illegal. And to me, I thought that was kind of dumb because every time I got arrested, I got, I got the utmost discipline for it. You know, hanging out, you know, actually listening to, you know, the views and, the, uh, you know, actually just having... The idea of moving to New Hampshire to be free because it's a, it's a free state. And, you know, like, it just, like, brought me back to when I was a kid to where, yeah, it is a free state. And there is a lot of things wrong. Like, I, I appreciate the, the, the free state movement because it's, it's making people aware that there is, there is something wrong, you know, with what's going on here. Not just in Keene, but in New Hampshire and, you know, the United States that, you know, there's... There's being a lot of push and shove, like, you do what I say or I'm going to take you here, you know, and it's like, well, why, you know, like, why, why do I have to do that? Well, now, um, experiencing this whole free state movement, I would, you know, I would, I would, I would say, well, just think about all the complaints that you have about, you know, paying your property taxes, about the, the system getting pulled over all, all the time for no reason. You know, all the complaints that you have against the system, the free staters are there for you to help you understand that. I mean, like, if it's not working for you, if the system is just, uh, you know, pissing you off, you can go to the free staters and ask them a question and be like, you know, is there anything that I can do about this complaint that I have? Well, anybody that, that knows me, you know, knows who I am, but I would definitely say uh, to, to, to look into it, uh, to copblock.org, to uh, Liberty on Tour, freekeem.com, you know, I would definitely support looking into it just if you have any questions. It's see if anything interests you because it's, it's pretty cool stuff and there's a lot of things that you, that you got to complain about that you do every day that you, you might be able to change just by looking into it. This is Clarkie from Keene, New Hampshire. Remember to keep it real. Live free or die. Peace out.